Oh my god, my brain hurts! Uh, greetings all humans, it's Melinda the Good here, and welcome back to Melinda Can't Figure Out Easy Levels. Uh, let's just continue on. We're trying to save our little robot friends here. The robots and I are still analyzing the energy blast. All we know so far is that it's definitely not a natural phenomenon. I wonder where it came from. Pretty sure some baddie is trying to steal our robots. So he's stuck. Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess he, it teleports him over here. Oh, and this won't let us place any blocks. That's weird. I don't want to do that. How do I stop him from going... oh. Okay, let's just give this a 4 second timer and see if that works. 3, 2, 1... Okay. And it comes over here. And then I'll get stuck over here as well. Two, three, four, maybe another... Oh, so plus four. Let's give it a nine second timer. Let's see if we got the timing right. The timers do make it a lot more interesting. Oh, can we make it? No, probably a 10 second timer. Let's start that again. Make it 11, just to be on the safe side. Come on, little buddy, you can make it. There we go, another robot collected. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm still confused by the structures on these asteroids. I thought this system was supposed to be uninhabited? Yeah, it is weird that these asteroids look exactly like game levels. So these will theoretically crash, because this turns left and this turns right. I'm gonna assume this one goes here, which means we have to delay this one by maybe a few seconds. Turn, 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 maybe? We're, just, we're gonna take this slowly, one step at a time, one robot at a time, so... What? Oh, I thought it would go here. Hold up. This is one of those... Turn right robots. Why is it not turning... Oh. Because Melinda doesn't know her right from her left. We don't need this. Theoretically. We need this. Yes. You turn left. So what do you do? Okay. Keep one here. And... Theoretically, it's the same for you guys as well, right? Oh, you guys are a bother. Let's put this on a four second timer, put this on a five second timer, and let's see what happens. So these two are fine. They'll eventually get to where they need to go. These guys got stuck. And I actually wasn't watching because I was watching over here. Okay, time to sort out these guys. How did you wind up down here? We used up all four cones. Was the timing off? Two, three, one.
Oh, so they bumped over here, which means the timing is still off. But I don't want the red robot to come down here. Let's turn this around. The red robot turns right. Alright, I'll keep turning. Actually, I'll come down here, so we just need to set this one up. On like a three second timer. Okay. Let's just see what happens. No, they, they're still stuck in here. We need the cones here. But how do I direct it? So that... Oh, time traveler. Okay, so we do need one here and one here. It's just the timing. We just have to get the timing right. The timing is so annoying. So they keep bumping. What if I put this one on a delay? Let the blue one go first. There we go. And this one will eventually make it there. Yeah, another four robots. Oh my goodness, my brain. Oh goodness, an asymmetrical level. Okay, what does Captain Bailey say? I'm going to analyze some of the dirt the robots have been tracking all over the ship from their little adventures. Maybe he'll tell us something about this place. I don't know if there's a lot of dirt. It looks pretty clean on this asteroid. Okay, let's see what happens when we just let them run. This one's gonna be stuck in a loop. They're all stuck in a loop. This one is just going back and forth. Something tells me we put in this, we let this little guy in last. We need to get one of the red ones over here. I'm going to assume it's this one. We have five cones. And I assume it's gonna be three here, one here. Where and the last one has to go somewhere here to stop this guy from going in an infinite loop. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this red one goes over here. How I don't know. Oh, we have to get the blue ones in first. This one should be fine. It'll just stop here. We need to get this guy down here. He'll be stopped by the blue one over here, so that should be fine. This one has to be on a timer of, let's say, four seconds. How about this guy? This guy has to be on a timer of maybe five. This one has to be out when this one comes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that eight? I'm assuming one square is like one second. And this one turns left, right? So it'll go into the red spot by accident. So we have to put this one on like the longest timer ever because we have to wait for the red one to get down there. I'm gonna put this at maybe 30, just in case. So this one should be down there first. That timing wasn't correct, but it should be fine. Maybe? You can make a little row and you just have to race the blue one. You can do it. Can we do this on the first try? Maybe. Oh, they're going to crash. God. No, we were so close. This timing was a little bit early. We don't actually need this one here, we can just put it down here. Right? It'll immediately turn around. This one will definitely get there in time. This one, we actually don't need a timer at all, I don't think. Yep, that one's fine by itself. 
We just have to time it so that this one doesn't bump into the blue one like it's about to do again. Okay. Six seconds. Speed this up a little. Wait. 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 Did we actually do it? We did it. I'll get stuck here, and then I'm going to here. Yes! Oh, goodness. These levels are getting much, much harder. Oh, is that a circle? This one looks so cool. But I'll probably have to do this one in the next video. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you- I can't believe we only did like two levels. Before you know it, one each video is going to be one level, because it's getting pretty difficult. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.